What's up guys, Arash Rabar, IFBB Classic Physique Pro here at Siege Athletics in Mineola. About to hit some arms for you guys. I'm gonna superset arms throughout the workout. Something I normally wouldn't do, but you either train with maximum intensity, heavy weight, push yourself as hard as you can, or if you're gonna pull back and try not to go so intense, maybe deload or give yourself a break like I am with my injuries, in order to create some kind of stimulus, you, you have to do something, right? So either intensity techniques like supersets, drop sets, or a lot more volume or rest pause. One of the main reasons of doing these versus standing up is so you take momentum, swinging, and the front delt out of the equation. So you want to make sure you really sink in. That's why I bring the seat low. You see a lot of guys doing these and sitting here like this with this huge gap between the pad and their armpit. This defeats the purpose. And when you come down, you got shoulder activation. So when I go all the way, all the way down past here, I start transitioning a little bit onto my delt. So I'll stop here before that happens, come up to here. Anything higher than this, I'm resting. So we're gonna keep the range right here to there. And that's more constant tension. This that I'm doing versus this. See the lower back and the shoulders. Shoulders caved in, lower back bent. Whereas we wanna be like that. Big difference. One arm concentration curls on the preacher bench is by far one of my favorite and I, I think one of the best exercises. What the key here is, is that I'm getting my armpit all the way stuck to the pad. So there's no gap and I'm not allowing for my shoulder to overpower or for any momentum. Awesome full range of motion and curl back up. It is by far the best way in my opinion to put stress and tension on the bicep, isolating it. This is my go-to. You can have a great bicep workout just using this one exercise. You don't want your arm to lift up too much, but I do lift a little bit to get my bicep, my wrist a little bit closer, almost like behind my ear. So what I focus on doing is pulling all the way back and giving a little twist. And if you see that, I'm getting a little bit more of a contraction. So that's really crucial when doing anything. You can do that with doing the machine curls, preacher curls, dumbbell curls up and supinate. But right here, just make sure to bring it all the way back, twist and try to tuck it behind your ear. Alright guys, so final superset to wrap up the workout is standing, alternating dumbbell curls for my biceps, and bent over cable extension using the preacher bar attachment for my triceps.
main focus are the dumbbell curls. Besides control and slow negatives, is the supination at the top that I was talking about. So I come up and supinate, get that extra contraction. And make sure I'm not using momentum and, and swinging forward. It's real easy to go heavier and do this, but when you stand rigid, tight core, shoulders back, it's all biceps, a lot harder. And with the tricep extensions, I make sure to keep my elbows above my head. So elbows real high, get a good stretch, and fully extend, hitting the tricep all the way. You're gonna feel it like deep into your armpit. And if you do them correctly, if you guys haven't done that before, you're gonna be very sore real deep at the top of your tricep. I love leg raises for the lower abs. Um, you know, they'll definitely target the lower abs and even give you a little bit of detail for the competitors up here on the top of your quads. So raising your lower body up, obviously, is gonna target the lower abs. But the key is, you don't wanna just bend at the hips. Like perfect leg raises like this are good, but if you can cur curl the back and pull that butt up and almost do a crunch midair, and as if you're trying to put your knees in your, your armpits, they're not gonna get that high, but you mimic that, you're gonna get a great contraction in your core. Leg raises, usually 20 to 30 reps. Um, if I do 30, it'll be the first or second set, and then I'll fall off. But everything else above 20. I rarely ever do anything for abs below 20. All right, guys, so that's a wrap. My arms and abs workout at my boy's gym. Big shout out to Noah at Siege Athletic in Mineola. If you guys are in the area, check him out, an awesome gym. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope it was informative and I answered some questions for you guys. Be sure to subscribe below.